TSN um, stands for Time Sensitive uh, Networking and uh, in general it's a set of uh, more um, IEEE standards uh, and uh, it's originating from the um, ADB standards or audio video broadcasting standards. In general the idea behind this is to have um, a unified and converging network so the uh, layer 2 in the field bus communication so that uh, one can use uh, let's say on a shop floor in an industrial automation devices that come from uh, different vendors with different uh, protocol stacks implementation and to unify the communication and, uh, between them in a synchronized manner. is a working group creating new and amazing capabilities for standard Ethernet. With TSN features, Ethernet becomes capable of doing hard real-time communication for industrial automation. So, previously Ethernet was good for a lot of data transfer applications. Now, with TSN, Ethernet is becoming a protocol that allows you to connect machines, IOs and sensors all to the cloud in hard real-time. OBNR, OPCUA TSN, is a core technology and part of our integral um, uh, strategy for all of our future products. We trust in OPCUA to be the unified standard among all market participants and to harmonize communication and also fulfill highest performance applications as you can see here in this demo. The most important topics this year's, uh, in this year's SPS is TSM, Time Sensitive Networking, and of course OPC UA. This all built on the Cisco Secure One Network is exactly what we are demonstrating here and at other booths like at BNR, ABB and all the other industry vendors. First of all, TSM is exactly what we need to bring deterministic Ethernet into the production networks of our customers based on the security portfolio Cisco is developing in the IEEE standard base. OPCOA, of course, is about bringing context to all the data we want to pull from the machines and bring this data up to higher levels in the automation pyramid just to make data usable for our end customers. Normally, you have isolated network for time critical and also isolated network for non critical paths. And for time critical, right now we have uh, a lot of different standards, you know, from the industry like Profinet, Ethernet IP, PowerLink, Etherk, and so on. With the TSM, it becomes a pure, real, standardized. Uh, protocols that you can have a real multi-vendor environment so you are not limited to one single uh, industrial protocol vendors or protocols we foresee that for the legacy or install base it doesn't uh, make sense to change into the TSN maybe to extend together with this TSN specific profile into the current environment okay but for the new high-end project or installation, I think TSN is going to, let's say, take over the traditional industrial protocols. The Ethernet Power Link Standardization Group 
stands for Open Communication for the Industrial IoT. Besides PowerLink and Open Safety, we also uh, support uh, OPC UA in conjunction with uh, time sensitive networking. I'm very proud that here at the EPSG we have uh, a broad OPC UA TSN demo with over 200 devices that are communicating on a common time basis that is as accurate as 100 nanoseconds. And this is a good uh, uh, addition to existing technologies as PowerLink and Open Safety, and we are sure this will pave the way for the future of communication. One main topic on the sphere is the TSN technology. And this is only a technology and it's not a bus system, what is behind this. It's a technology what we can use is perfect for EtherCAT. With this coupler what we have here de developed, the TSN coupler, we can directly go in the EtherCAT field. And this is a benefit that you can use all the EtherCAT features what we have, this good clock the C technology, also with other EtherCAT slaves from other manufacturers. So, um, I don't see uh, TSN as um, something that will replace all the other protocol stacks. I see rather TSN uh, as a way to unify the, the network in a sense to, to have a connected and synchronized uh, communication between devices that come from uh, with, with um, uh, proprietary IPs.